The emergency purchase of what DOA described as a critically needed new financial management system has dragged on for more than 18 months. The governor issued an executive order back in mid-2020 authorizing the use of American Rescue Plan funds for the purchase. DOA Director Ed Burns says it's a relief to finally get it done. I've learned that there are different kinds of emergencies. <laughs> uh, it is an emergency. Um, but the emergency allowed us uh, several things. I mean, it, it did allow us to move the whole thing along quicker than it might have done. And I fear that had it not been an emergency or designated emergency, the whole process actually might have taken a good deal longer. The total cost for the system is $31 million, and it will be built in five stages. It's expected to greatly enhance the government's financial management and reporting processes. For one, it will use cloud technology, an online platform that's now the gold standard, which the legacy system does not. The, the current system um, is not, and you know, I'm speaking with like 45 years worth of experience in accounting, is not a fully rounded accounting system. It's a, it's a system that records um, uh, numbers, um, but it doesn't, I can't press a button and get a set of financial statements. And, and that's the end goal. We've been required over the last few years to produce more and more information. And, and that's fair enough. I mean, the, there's much more money going through the system and more information uh, needs to be reported, but but we've just outgrown the current system. Byrne says the off-island vendor is expected on Guam next month to begin planning for the build-out. The plan we've got at the moment is that we will just stop uh, the old system and go with the new system on the date you know, which when we feel comfortable. Which we uh, uh, but the goal is to have this uh, operational uh, in December of this year. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.